Greetings one and all, this is Terry Fan. Today I'm going to review my first ever Wii game for the Nintendo Wii. I'm going to review Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles from your good friends at Capcom. Awesome cover, I like the cover, cover. the Umbrella logo all shattered. Wesker in, with his evil eyes in the background. And this game is of course rated M for Mature. Before I get to this review, I want to show you all my newest game. Yes sir, yes ma'am, I got Transformers Fall of Cybertron for the PlayStation 3. I got Optimus Prime, Grimlock, Bumblebee, Metroplex on the front cover. I've been playing this game for the last few days. It is awesome and I can't wait to review it for you all once I finish the game. That's what my plan is. I'm going to review this game once I beat it. It's an awesome game. Pretty tough so far, but a game that's worthy of your challenge so far now on to the review of Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles reimagine life in our hands swarms of undead creatures and mutants ter terror rules the streets per persistent whores Born of Umbrella's bio warfare research, now the mysterious corporation must prepare itself for the upcoming apocalypse. You have no choice. Gather your firepower. Prepare to face horrors and uncover the dark truth that could take Umbrella down forever. Succeed or there is no future. On the back, you got Jill Valentine, Billy Cohen. Chris Redfield, Rebecca Chambers, four of the main protagonists from the Resident Evil series. That's just all the details. I'm going to show you all the game itself. Simple but cool. In case you're all wondering if this was just a nerdy game that's just trying to capitalize on the Resident Evil series, well, no, it's not. This game really tells the stories. A Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1, and Resident Evil 3 Nemesis with two bonus missions taking place during the Resident Evil 2 franchise where you play as Ada Wong and Hulk. Hulk, I'm sorry. But basically Wesker is the main protagonist in this game. Yes, I said protagonist. Who would ever thought that the main antagonist would be the main protagonist in the video game? Basically, Wesker is retelling the story of the respective Resident Evil games I named, plus a brand new mission where you play as Jill Valentine and Chris Redfield going on a mission to finally bring down Umbrella once and for all. But the main antagonist in this game is a character named Sergei. He's basically Spencer's right hand man and loyal friend. He would do anything for Spencer. He and Wesker do not see eye to eye, but the strange thing is they have mutual respect for each other. Kind of crazy, but it's true. The game is a first person shooter, arcade, on rail shoot shooter. Retelling the stories of the game, you play as Rebecca Chambers and Billy Cohen, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Carlos and Jill Valentine in Resident Evil 3 scenario. And you also play as Wesker, the main protagonist in this game, too. The game takes advantage of the Wii controls and the nunchucks, and of course the Wii Zapper. I have a, um, I have the Resident Evil gun. And yes, I got Resident Evil: The Dark Side Chronicles. I'll review that once I beat this. Once I beat it, but I wanted to focus on this game itself. Graphically, the game has some decent graphics. I mean, it has some pretty good graphics for the Wii at the time. But I mean, the character models are nice, and it was nice to see a, a, some update graphics on the franchise. Sound is pretty impressive. You got some talented voice actors in the game. Now, here's the fun part. The controls, 
you got to be really talented to play the controls on this game. Basically, you have to take the, the Wii Remote, point at the screen, and and shoot. And you have the nunchucks to help control pick your weapons and what have you. And there will be times when you have to use the nunchuck really fast and the Wii Remote pretty fast, fast to perform an attack when a zombie jumps on you. Basically called a counter move, I believe. I hadn't played this game in a while, so I couldn't remember. But the main problem in this game is the boss battles, especially with Weskers. Basically, specifically, when you're fighting the Titans in this game, Tyrants, I'm sorry, they'll, they'll just give you a pounding like you never had before. And it's just really not cool. And sometimes you, you get killed pretty fast, too, depending on the setting, but it's the principle. The game really you kicks your butt. But then again, the Resident Evil series has been one of the hardest video games to play on any system, so it's really understandable. But but still, the game is good. It's and it has some great unlockables. It basically, you just unlock some some hidden files in the game. But still, you get the chance to improve your score, so that could increase the re replay value of this video game. So, yeah, I definitely really would recommend getting this game. They recently put this on the PlayStation Network, which I'm not going to get. I mean, just to get HD graphics, thank you for no thank you. This game cost me $20 to get GameStop. Well, it cost me $12 because I traded in some games and got a few bucks off, but it's the principle. I'm not going to rebuy a game, so I had to start all over. I mean, that's just... How can I put it? Not really smart. I love the PlayStation, but I'm not going to buy this game again just to have a HD graphics. But but anyway, back to the game. Yeah, if you starting to get a Wii, I recommend getting this game. It does include two-player mode, but you share the same health bar, so you got to work together to survive. But yeah, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles really is basically a game that retells the story and it brings you an original story too. So you have to play this game to understand what I'm talking about. I really recommend it. Overall, I give, I mean, it has good graphics, tight gameplay, and really smooth and really wicked controls. So yeah, I give Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles an 8 out of 10. Pretty good game. But a hard son of a biscuit here. But overall, thank you for watching and take care. Resident Evil, the Umbrella Chronicles.